My ex-boyfriend, he said that when he was drinking in the fields with his friends when he was a teenager and the cops... that's like a national pastime. And the cops caught them, they hit them on the head. <laughs> but that's like, a, that's like what you're supposed to do. Like the... I was considered weird for not doing that by my parents. For not drinking pa- in a field. <laughs> yeah, but I, I would say like, oh, I was invited out to a field for a bag of cans. And my parents were like, why didn't you go? Are you not normal? <laughs> I like, mean, the police are supposed to take it off normal, you, but they're not yeah. supposed to hit you on the head. Mm-hmm. But me personally, I've never had any trouble with them. Mm-hmm. I'm always wary when I see them. I'm like, oh. <laughs> like I don't feel at all safe or protected. No, I've never passed a cop a gun. Like I feel comforted and at ease. <laughs> there was a time actually. There was a hit and run outside our house, remember? Mm-hmm. And the cops were out there all night doing I don't know crime scene investigations mm-hmm. or whatever. And there was two... It seemed to mainly be just kind of milling about and gossiping. Yeah, but like our windows are so... You can hear everything. Yeah, they're single glazed. You can hear what people people say. The the, the windowsills are almost like seats, so people sit on them Mm -hmm. and talk. And it was nighttime, so the curtains were closed. And these policemen were sitting in our windowsill and just saying the most vile things out loud. Mm -hmm. Like saying stuff... Just mocking the person who'd been killed in the hit and run. Mm -hmm. And I was like... (laughs) <laughs> and then I was like should I like record them and tell somebody and then I was like no one will no, care because no one will care you'd it into a cop and they'd go huh, no one fuck would, off no <laughs> one would care exactly but they were awful they it's were just something everybody things. knows it's like it's why I'm always baffled when any politician suggests giving a cop a gun in this country oh. as like these fucking nightmare idiots anyway these let's, fuckers? let's play the game <laughs> oh, sorry <laughs> Caught drinking underage by a cop driving by once. He took me beer, uh, put it on put top, on top of, the of the car, asked my age, told him 17, gave him my ID. He said, don't kick balls across the road, idiot, then give me back my beer. <laughs> oh, that's kind of nice. I can get some fucked up humour about a dead guy. Job has dead guys like hospitals. <laughs> no, it wasn't that they were joking about the person being dead. Mm-hmm. It's that they were insulting the person who yes. was dead. Like, yeah, I get like making jokes about dark humour, but they were yes. ins- they were seeming to say it was this person's fault that they'd like, been killed a, in a, it. <laughs> a trope I really genuinely enjoy is morticians or coroners eating sandwiches over dead bodies in well, media. that's not true. I know that's not actually true, because, but like, I think it's hilarious. But like, because in real life, if you did that, you'd fuck up the investigation because yes. you'd like de-sterilize the whatever. Was it? Is Gear- did Guillermo del Toro what, Yeah, do that? part of the thing you do do is you go in the corner and eat your food. Yeah, you just hunker down in the like corner the, the, and eat a sandwich like the, by the body. The trope is always, not over the body. Yeah, the trope is always <laughs> someone doing it over the body, which doesn't happen. I remember reading or that Or it's not supposed to happen because you would wreck, you would wreck the investigation. It's, it's one of the least surprising things possible that Guillermo del Toro worked at that job. <laughs> well, you said he was just an assistant yeah. and he would eat his sandwiches in the corner. <laughs> I find that, I don't know, oddly adorable, just imagining Guillermo del Toro, because yeah, he's I, so fluffy and round, It was like just on, eating a sandwich in the corner. It was like on the commentary for Pan's Labyrinth, and that was a fascinating commentary. The guy is really interesting. <laughs> like, you know that scene... It's a pity Pan- about some of his movies. Yeah. You know that scene in Pan's Labyrinth where the fascist guy hits the, 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 the rabbit hunters in the face with a bottle, mm-hmm. and the bottle doesn't smash, and mm-hmm. in movies usually the bottle smashes. Mm-hmm. He was like, del Toro was like, I wanted to show, this happened to me and my friend in Mexico. <laughs> we got mugged by these two guys, and and they started hitting me with a glass bottle and it didn't smash and I wanted to show them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just goes like Tung, and like rebounds off your face. You don't tell it was very interesting. Mm-hmm. Interesting guy. Right, we're here, by the way. <laughs> we're in Nun World. Oh, you've just you've just upset him because you like took off his hand. Yeah, we cut off Armo's arm. Don't so now he's Armo. proper Armo. No, his name is Ilya. I had genuinely forgotten his name is Armo in my brain. His name is Ilya and her the name is in in of Indica. John of Indica. Damascus, the one from the poster. I don't was like this towering over such a Indica. I mean that's what the she devil was consumed would be. Whenever you read anxiety, Bible passages, the devil always more. just comes across like a petty troll. What if well, I don't, I've never read my Bible. <laughs> wouldn't let her in. Surely you've read some what Bible stuff in school. Worthy I didn't have to do religion classes. Maybe one I've told you to get to see a miracle. I know, but like even when you were very small? What if her certainty no, in God's No, like sometimes the compromise was I would stay in the room. I didn't have to listen. So and sometimes I was taken to the library. I was like that in secondary school. Oh, I remember this. We've gone back about two minutes or something. There shouldn't I remember have been a compromise. Like if I didn't want to do the religion classes, I shouldn't have had to do the religion classes. Mm-hmm. 
because I still had to do the prayers. In Irish schools, you have to do the prayers. Yes. I don't know. We weren't what... allowed to eat lunch if we didn't do the prayers, from what I remember, in primary school. And I would, I would say to the teachers, I'm an atheist. Can I just sit while everyone does the prayers? And they're like, no, you will stand and you will put your hands out like that. Mm-hmm. And just sort of mumble along. Oh. Or no, or no. uh, I hated it, like. <laughs> and that felt more disrespectful to me because I'm an atheist. I was like, it's just going to be lip service. Yeah. Sure that's not what you like, want. <laughs> that I'm an atheist saying words I don't believe in. Isn't that more disrespectful than if I just sat down? Yeah. I agree. <laughs> I always had the same Now thought. you don't have to say sorry for the fifth time. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yeah. Yippee. Okay, more points. Just catch it up a little bit. Because I think it, it there's no manual save in this game, so I think we've lost like two or three minutes. Not too I much. I think though. we were here. Yeah, you Is just come past saved? some giant fish. I, I remembered. Sure? Well, I remembered that woman throwing fish at us. <laughs> just put your hands together. Sailor, oh that song. Sailor. Emma hates that song even more than I do. What is it? Well, you, what does the girl say in the middle? You fight my da or something. People say I look like me da. I fight like him as well. <laughs> Oh. That was terrible. That was terrible. That's such a bad song. I'm surprised you don't like the fashion because you said you don't like the music videos as well. But it's full of double denim, and you're you're a big fan of double denim. No, I am not. I've seen you wear double denim for the for the first like three years of our relationship. Just you wear nothing the, but double denim. Just play the game and be quiet. Okay. <laughs> Where is your denim jacket? I, I feel like you wore that like for the first time. I miss years, my denim solid. jacket. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. I miss no. it. I miss my denim jacket. A best shoe. Best shoe, right, possibly left. Pavel Sergeyevich, Indica's father, called his servants bastards because of their best shoes, emphasizing the cultural gap between himself and the uneducated peasantry. The latter, however, refused to notice this gap, especially if they had a chance to drink with the former. Oh, you're so fancy because you're a shoemaker and you think you can call people peasants. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. A shoemaker. <laughs> Double denim is a solid look. I disagree. <laughs> but you were a big fan. Isn't it called the Canadian Tuxedo? I don't know where that comes from, but uh, the, the denim on denim on denim, like denim shirt, denim jacket and denim jeans is the Canadian Tuxedo. Remind me, wasn't there some kind of court case witness has to swear in the Bible, but they substituted for like a physics book by Newton? Yes, you are allowed to swear on whatever you want. Well, would I... That does sound... I'm, I, You know, I support it. It sounds insufferably well, reddish. <laughs> no, what I did was, I was on jury duty a couple of years ago, like mm -hmm. 2017, 2016. And what we did when we were on jury duty, then they didn't make you. You didn't have to swear in the Bible. You could um, just say, I affirm to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. So they asked us, will you affirm or will you swear in a religious text? Because mm -hmm. they also had the Quran available. Because one of the witnesses was a Muslim, so he swore in the Quran. Mm hmm the Quran is such a pretty Bible. Uh, sorry, not Bible. <laughs> like, it looks so much prettier than what the Bible. One of those foreign Bibles. <laughs> sorry. I meant to say that the Quran is so much prettier. I just so thought it was prettier. a fun phrase. Oh, I meant to say that the Quran, the cover of it, is so much prettier than the Bible's cover. The Bible's pretty boring. Well, it depends on the Bible. No, the I've modern never... Bible is just, like, black with a Yeah, pass, right? all the but... ones I've ever seen in school. But the Quran was really pretty and colourful. I'm sure there's lovely, but old medieval Bibles are probably very lovely and illuminated. No, this had a lovely cover. It was much nicer. Just started a religious war. <laughs> and now I misspoke. Don't be mean to me. Can I open this? No, I can move it around though and maybe get up there. Sure, let's do that. So you, I just affirmed and so did a couple of other people. We didn't mm -hmm. swear in the Bible. I think in America you don't have to swear in the Bible. Yeah, it's like a thing. Because, um... I know a few of the, what what do they call them? The founding there's a, fathers. There's a man there. I know there's there's a man there is, there. but I'm talking. What did you say? I know, but I'm talking. But the man might attack you. Maybe we'll pick up this mallet and break his nose. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> the um, what was I saying? I can't I'm remember sorry. what I was the saying at all. The man was going to attack. trying to protect you. <laughs> He's drunk. He's swaying. He's drunk. Well, that means we can like. I don't know, push him against a wall and kill him or something. Be careful. Hello, boy. Are you dancing? You a dance boy? Maybe he's not going to acknowledge you at all. Maybe not. He seems to just be, you know, having a fun little dance. I feel like Fuck dancing, I'm dancing. <laughs> really old Bibles where the first letter took up a whole quarter Remember of that page. Scissor Sisters song? I yes. Like I got reminded of, you showed me a, a tweet, tweet about, about the Scissor Sisters recently. 
Scissor Sisters might be one of the worst bands of that era. It was this guy that was saying he doesn't understand early 2000s nostalgia amongst the Gen Z. It's like, early 2000s sucked. <laughs> well, Scissor Sisters were like... They it, were very popular. It was weird. It's like that... It, you know how there was the wave that came a bit later than Scissor Sisters, which were like, um, you know, where everything was like obsessed with the 80s. The Scissor Sisters were like that, but sort of insufferably ironic about it. And it made it so much worse. Are you not supposed to talk to him at all then, that man? I was, didn't see a way to do it, maybe. It just seems weird there's a random guy and he doesn't even say hi. It's Russia, there'll be random round boys saying to be racist. Every so often. The Scissor Sisters version of Comfortably Numb is better than the original. I think that might be a war crime to type out. <laughs> <laughs> Move the platform. Oh, good, more of this shit. Uh, <laughs> what, what am I moving? This thing. If that guy wasn't so drunk, he'd stop this nun from fiddling with his platforms. Don't touch my platform. I mean, a woman touching machinery? Who's going to be numb by? Pink Floyd? It might be the best Pink Floyd song. That looks kind of fun. Is this where I'm meant to be? I don't know what I'm meant to do here. Hang on. Go to jail. Do not take $200. Hang wee on. Wee. I need to, like... Wee wee wee. What is... What is I doing? <laughs> what is this? I don't think you should go look for Ilya. He can fuck off. I don't really care if Armo lives or dies. Uh, no. Ilya. Armo. Ilya. Oh, I might need to like create a path over there. I think I understand. Can I? Oh, there we go. Just take, take a little up. I mean, we don't <laughs> even know what I he's done. What's his crime? Probably child murder, he let's be honest. Because he never said. No. He could have done... A personal <laughs> It isn't if he's done something like that. I don't know. It's probably nothing too bad. You're like Because meant to like him. You're like And them. I don't think the game is brave enough to, to have it be like real fucked I don't, up. Are we supposed to like him? Because I find him insufferable. I do find him insufferable, yes. <laughs> but I think we're meant to like him. Like to we're shout to climb this poor here. girl because she cut off his arm. He was going to die, like. He should got be... another one as he, well. No, he should be grateful. It mm -hmm. was rotten. Rotting. Mm -hmm. Rotten. Wee. It's like, he was really mean. I don't like him. Hiya. Oh, there's the prick. Give it back. Hi, Armo. Is, is, your arm, is your arm wiggling in your bag? You read it. He was going to die, Sambu. Is your arm wiggling? What happened to your hair? What happened to your hair? I don't know. What, ha what did happen to my hair? It's... Looks fine. What are you... Do you? Oh no! Does he think that this shawl is my hair? Oh, no, because no. he saw you took a bath together. Oh, you poor little fool! No, he saw you take a bath together. I don't know if he knows what a bath is. I you think that might have been the first time you had that he a thought, like... together, and you were gonna kiss, but she said that his arm stank and made her. Yeah, face but out. I think he might think that this is like part of my hair. No, and it, he, like, saw, he saw he saw her with it off. And then grew back. He saw he saw her with the with the thing off, the shawl off. Parascava Friday. Habit. Holy martyr Parascava. Pray to God for us. This is quite pretty. Russian Orthodox is pretty. <laughs> it is. I think Orthodox, like I said I think <laughs> Orthodox like churches look way prettier than Catholic Did the prioress churches. cut it as punishment? How does... It wasn't a big deal. I burned Father Sergei's Felonian. What's a Felonian? I don't know. Some religious boy. What, wait, I thought he was married to you. Why are you friends again? I think he's doing that thing, you know, when you, when a child, like, has a tantrum, but then, like, an hour later, they're over it, but they don't want to be, like, you know, they don't want to go back and, you like, say sorry, because they've had a tantrum. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's the postman. Jesus Christ. They knock so loudly. Stop laughing at me. Don't anyone dare laugh at me. That frightened the shit out of me. Did you ask him why he knocked like a madman? <laughs> he banged that door down. I love you. <laughs> Don't you laugh. It's my rice cooker. It was delayed by a couple of days, but I have a new rice cooker now. Redeem Postman. <laughs> I love you very much. I do love when that happens. Just, it's you and the pigs all growl when somebody knocks at the, the door. door so loudly. <laughs> that was very sweet. It's his vestments, by the way. What's a vestment? Vestment is like priest robes. Ah. Uh, 
like a little priest jacket and like like these are vest well these wouldn't be vestments this is like a cassock or something but it's what they call them wear, wear cattle ca <laughs> somewhere probably sleeping in a sunbeam yeah it's very she's, hot. she's very much like just sleeping on the bed the last couple of days mm. in the sunbeam beams or like in the doorway of the garden wherever a sunbeam is laying she'll the be door there is shut isn't it Kim? Mm -hmm. yes i'll open it later no. probably <laughs> she'll jump into the road and get killed there is a way that seems straight to a man, but its end is the way to death. See, if you were going by, like, wacky religio rules, surely you'd be like, so it's fine to be gay. <laughs> I don't think we should get into debates about theology. <laughs> <laughs> the way of straightness is wrong and leads to death. Can I... is this like a little puppo cage? No. Where'd, where'd Armo go? What the so fuck is... That... Is that the oh, devil? I've Maybe gone it's the devil. Mad, I think, it's again. the devil. It's the devil. I think I'm going mad. His again. name is Ilya, but stop calling him Armo. I'm not gonna stop calling him Armo. It's offensive. <laughs> His name is Ilya. I know, but I'm not gonna stop calling him Armo. It's terrible. Oh, he's matching me. Who is the devil? Yeah, I saw him drag something across as well. Oh, Jesus Christ. He just looks like a big golem. Mm hmm. Oh, I hate that. I'm gonna great look at you. Why would you want to look at it? Stop! Sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. Why would you want to look at him? Oh no. Oh jeez, this room annoyed me. Oh no, I'm already mad at puzzles. <laughs> oh, am I back at the start? Oh, this is looping around? Oh, I've gone fully mad, haven't I? Do, why oh, don't you I'm just all... do your prayers? There's Ilya. When you were having your panic attacks before, you did your prayers. I don't know if I even know I'm having a panic attack at this point. Is that meant to be the devil? I don't know. It's some horrible nude man. <laughs> it looks a bit like Gollum. It's a horrible nude man. Doesn't it look a bit like Gollum? It does. But bigger, obviously. Mm -hmm. Can I move you? I don't know if I can. I can just climb you. Can I climb anywhere else? I soft locked myself by pushing something in a bad position. Oh, God, no. Okay, <laughs> let's be careful. <laughs> there are too many puzzles. I think this game really suffers, not from having puzzles, I don't like but that puzzles. the puzzles are all from, I'm going to be generous and say, like, a 2005 shovelware video game. <laughs> like, none of the puzzles are feel particularly thematic or interesting, to be honest. It's all just moving around crates. That's true, yeah. At least this one is involving her Yes, issues. this one is fine, because... Uh, it's leaning into the whole she's fucking mad thing. <laughs> Can I jump down here at all? Maybe don't say she's Ooh, fucking Maybe don't say she's fucking mad. Sorry. I love you. Well, we don't what know that she's pity. mad, to be fair. Mm? She could just be seeing an actual mm? Satan. What? No. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Don't stigmatize mental illness. I'm not. She's way better than Armo. She's way better than Armo. His name is Ilya. I would take her a hundred times out of a hundred in a survival <sighs> situation than Armo. I'm going to Sorry. <laughs> Can I crouch in this game? I don't think so, no. So it's just walking about. Why can't Ilya mm. help you? He's useless. I think he's still having a sulk because he's a child. He should help you, though. Look at him sulking there. I'm sorry, but I don't want to say I'm sorry, so I'm going to sulk. She saved your life. Mm-hmm. It it's... actually feels quite nice to have only one arm. Now I can use it to slap people around. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that he's carrying around his arm in his bag. That's gonna, like, get rotten very quick. You could embalm it or he cast doesn't... it in resin he, or but something. He doesn't have access to any of those things. No. He just has, he already had, he was already gangrenous and now he's got it in his bag. Mm -hmm. It's like, ugh, throw that away. Okay, let's, can I move this somewhere else? <laughs> that, that moves this here. Right. That moves that around. What if I, I move it back here? That definitely is upsetting. Hmm. Real dead arm theme in both games recently. There is! In Vampire the Masquerade, I've been using a, a, a severed arm as a weapon. Okay, so I can make Mr. Gollum. Big Gollum. I can make Big Gollum <laughs> move this around by moving this. But I don't know what that particularly does for me, to be honest. Like, can I get up here? 
I can get up on top of this, maybe? Does that help? Is there something? Can I just, can I just like edge around and reach Armo? Ilya! I'm not gonna call him that. Ooh! Sorry, I thought I'd trap myself in a little pet cage. Now I'm a puppy nun. <laughs> That's too big for a puppy. Depends on the puppy. Depends <laughs> on if it's like a human puppy play woman or something. Jeez. Well, that's a thing. I don't need to know. It's, I think it's one of the reasons everybody was thirsting after that ghoul in Fallout. Is because I saw a tweet that was like, somebody being horrified, like, oh, this just made me so uncomfortable. He, he like, puts her on a lead and makes her drink out of a, a, an old water bowl and stuff like that. And it was just like 400 quote treats from puppy girls going like, <gasps> <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a very good show. <laughs> We're not gonna get into it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm bored. Well, I don't know what to do. I might need to look up something here. I, hate I have no the idea what's going on. And I don't like seeing this man. He's making me uncomfortable. What? The little big golem? I don't like him. He's making <laughs> me sad. Little big golem. He's making me sad. Oh, I forgot I can run. That might speed something up. Let me. <sighs> can I pull it out a little bit? And still make up the jump? Like, if I just go... Whip. No, apparently not. In the other room, everything is orientated on its side, yes. It's like, it's ah, the same room. He's too close! He's too close! He's right there. He's too close! Don't you like little nude man? Oh, he frightens me. I like his four arms. I mean, I like his, his four arms, and I like that there's four of them. <laughs> it's good. So, how would I... Hmm. Like, I can climb on that. I can climb up on this. Maybe this is fine? What's that little red thing? Is it a scarf? Uh, I don't know. Then can I jump onto this? No, okay. Mate, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Where would I need this to be? Probably like right here in between? She's or... got a cute nose. Does she? A little squashy nose. <laughs> That's so mean. It's not as cute nose. You called her nose a little squashy. Her nose is cute. <laughs> a little squashy nose. It's cute. What about here? Let's just, you know, trial and error. Does that help at all? You're not the one really, calling no. somebody Armo. Oh. <laughs> Armo. His name is Ilya. <laughs> it's over here. Uh, Ilya's a nice name. Ilya's fine. I don't, I don't feel any way about Ilya as a name. I think it's nice. Can I climb up this now? There's somebody really famous called Ilya. Like a famous writer, isn't there? I have there? no idea. I, I know, I think there's some doing things. Okay, I'm up. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Does this help? Can I climb up here now? I'm covered in cat hair. Come on, give me a little... Just give me a little boost, oh. Come on, I can climb that. I've got nun fists. Come on. I have no idea if this is even where I would want to go. I think I might die if I try and get down here. Hang on, can I just... Whoop, there we go. <laughs> the fuck am I going? <laughs> what am I trying to do here? <laughs> There's two rooms. Oh, I could Oh, hang on. I could drop down. I could drop down. Maybe this is go. the guy I was thinking of. I, mean, I don't even poetry class. Ilya Kaminsky? I think I might have heard that name I think before. we did him in poetry class. Where's the hole? The hole is... Oh, Jesus Christ. Can I jump down onto this and not die? <laughs> nope, that breaks my legs. Whee! Poor oh, you. well. I don't like this uh, devil boy. I don't like this puzzle. <laughs> right. That's back here. Maybe shift it even more, like right there. Does that make it any closer? It does. <clears throat> like, surely that's close enough that I won't die. It is. Okay. Now I am here. How in the world does that help? <laughs> Why am I here now? Uh, can I... Do I just... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Can I drop down here? Whee! Just don't break your fucking legs. And then down here? Oh! Puzzle! Puzzle boy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Go away, lady. 
using the apprentice theme. You know, burr, 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 Go away! We can all whistle. She's gonna do something. <laughs> She's just gonna whistle for everyone as I press, press something. Press the button, yeah. No, oh. no. What? Cathedral of John of Damascus. I hate that woman. <laughs> Why? It is fun to whistle, I get it. You can't whistle, can you? Ha! <laughs> <sighs> Thanks. I wish I could do the proper, like, farmer whistle. You know, where, like, they call sheep dogs and stuff. But they do the, like, the two fingered Should mouth thing. Follow Ilya! <laughs> follow Ilya! <laughs> I've never figured out how to do it. Look, that's our cathedral from the poster. Oh, it's got the onion top! Go over to your van. It's the Orthodox Church, so it has the little onion. I love the onion. Stop! You're making me dizzy. Sorry. You're usually better with um, third person games. I think I can get you some um, motion sickness glasses. They look ridiculous. But I they don't do know look if kind that of would funny. Help. Apparently, they do. They've got like. <laughs> <laughs> they look like it's not, the it's most not goofy sick. nerd shit It's not in the world. motion sickness, it's my vertigo. Mm -hmm. Cuz it only happens so it, it only happens in video games. I don't get it with movies. Mm. Cuz you know how people were like oh, the hobbit was very motion sick. I didn't get I didn't that. get that no. either. This it's it's I more it looked bad, it's more this but thing. Not motion sickness. Carl Marx. What Marx? It is Marx. Hi Carl. Hello. How Hi, are you Marx. doing? Hello. Well, yes, you, pray to Marx. You can't pray to Marx, you're not. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's, lo it's like seeing a cosy friend. Not for a Good nun. stuff. <laughs> I'm sure some nuns like Marx. You can't be a Marxist and like nuns. Can you? Well, he was an atheist. He, he's, 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 you know, to be atheism. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I'm sure a nun would go, like, aside from that stuff. I like his ideas. That's kind of incompatible. <laughs> I'm sure there's socialist nuns. Yeah, but there's there's people who are like libertarians who call themselves socialists. Mm. The, the life, life of, of Alexi. Ven Venerable Alexi. Saint Alexi came from a very it's pious... It's Alexi Sale. It's more socialist. <laughs> Ale Saint Alexi came from a very pious and devout family. When he was a small child, his sister fell gravely ill. As the girl drew close to death, her father started praying to God to take him instead. The Lord listened to his prayer, took him, and the girl was healed. After a few years, she fell ill again. This time, her mother asked God to take her instead of her daughter. <laughs> the Lord listened to the parents. This child to, better to be mother. fucking great. When she fell ill for the third time, it was her brother's turn to pay for recovery. However, this time God did not listen because he had things and he had plans for the boy. After he grew up, Alexi became famous across Russia for his miracles. What happened to the sister? <laughs> I guess just died. <laughs> that sucks. What a horrible story. <laughs> Everybody's oh God comes across as a real prick in a lot of these stories. Yeah. Redeem silly glasses for Emma. They do look so goofy. Apparently, historically, there were a lot of Burses. lesbian nuns. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the tavern what else are you talking about? <laughs> there it is. Be Below. It sounds really boring yeah. to be a nun. But you can hide that. <laughs> I know. Where like if Karl Marx is like, we should all be atheists, then your whole it's nun life is gone. Mm -hmm. And you know, some of you might like me. None might like being hated each other. And yet depended on each other. Well, I can't imagine you would like being a nun. I guess if you were a lesbian nun, you might like being a nun. Who would then mm. go to Ephraim to spend the money if, you know, you had lots on shitty wine and horse. Nice horrors. women to be lesbians with. <laughs> like, if, if you, if you, you lucked out and got some shop. hot nuns. <laughs> we used to call them the Batshit Brothers. Aren't you? Why don't they like each other? Aren't you funny, Ilya? Because each of them thinks that the other brother is richer. Soon you'll oh, be able to play a concert there again. Isn't that lovely? I want to see it, yes? Uh... You've got one arm. I don't know if you're going to be playing any instruments. <laughs> That's just going to make him sulk more. Look at his twitchy, awful end. I don't like you. Well, I'm sure there's instruments you can play one-handed. Why are they Pop going? Ron. Why are they going up to this tower anyway, or this cathedral? Uh, because he's the, the faith healer. Maybe he thinks he'll put the arm back on. <laughs> but why? Why would it be so dangerous? Also, I need to deliver a letter. Yeah, I know, but where's the steps? Why is it all just wooden boards? Uh, it's Russia. <laughs> <laughs> For goodness sake. Yeah, they're sure they'll be healed by relics. No, 
Oh, she isn't delivering the letter anymore because the letter said that she was expelled from the club. Yeah, she's but now she finished. thinks like you know maybe she'll get redeemed by seeing this relic. She's gone a bit wrong. Did she say that? Basically. I thought she wanted to. I, I well, also she wants to fuck this one-armed no, boy. No, like she wanted something else, didn't she? Oh, you're right. She thought it would get rid of the voices. Or yeah. Because she's she's aware that something's not right. <laughs> That is wiggling. That wiggled, and he isn't moving now. Yeah, the fingertips are going like. And he and he's not moving, so it can't be the bag. Ugh. <laughs> oh, it's all rotting. Take it out. And it's a bit it. like how um, if you put salt on dead frogs' legs, it sort of activates the muscle fibers, and they go <laughs> twitch around. That's horrible. Okay, what am I doing with you? Am I, am I meant to click on you, or what do you want? What do you want from me? Down! There we go. Oh, down. <laughs> oh! She I'm making air mode do manual labor? That feels mean. She just yelled at you. Mm -hmm. I mean, she just yelled at him. Down! Down! No, she was more like, down! Up! Up! <laughs> right, I will step onto the lift. And then you bring me over. I don't know how you're going to get over. There must be another crank on this side. Get me down, please. Armo, do your job. Down! <laughs> I'd be quite mean to Armo now. Ilya! It's a weird delivery task. Kicked out to take a letter to somebody to tell them to also kick you out. Yeah, like why would Make you... Make it official. Why would you deliver that? You just run away. Mm. Who's that over there? That's not Ilya. Yeah, it's just some guy. What? Going, what? Hey! Why? That's a my lift day! Why does nobody <laughs> say hello to you? Hey! I'm at the Russia. I mean, look at him. What's he doing? What is he doing? Hey! Can't believe these are guys. Oh, she's biting her fingernails. Did you see? <laughs> Terrible habit. I, I bite my fingernails. I also bite my fingernails. <laughs> well, that's quite cool that she just bit her fingernails because she got bored. <laughs> Lower the hook. Oh, Jesus Christ. Am I picking him up? What the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> um, rotate the crate. Lower the hook. Rotate the hook. Oh, fuck off. What am I doing? It's a big fucking hook. Thing. <laughs> it's a big hook. L lift the hook. Um, I can't do much more than around this particular area. Do I have to pick up this man? <laughs> I don't think so. Do you know, is there much of a difference between Russian Orthodox, Greek Orthodox, Ukrainian Orthodox? I have no idea what the differences are between any of these things, really. I don't even really... I've never quite grasped the difference between, like, Catholic Protestant, really. There's some differences. There is, but I uh, don't really know them. I don't know anything about the Orthodox. Mm -hmm. Lower hook. Lower hook. Okay, I can crack the wall. And don't then you? Oh my god! Why are they going? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they oh, Richard? What are you doing? Damn <laughs> 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 I'm down. I'm moving it over here so you can get across. I'm coming down. There we go. Uh, is that enough? <laughs> can you hang on? Can I, can I lower it up? <laughs> 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 you fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. <laughs> Was that a cut in the exit he was trying to do? I have no idea. <laughs> it, was, it was spinning the Jackson, but wasn't it? I don't think this is where I'm meant to put this either, to be honest. I might need to put another little block. Leah, shut up! I'm, this is happening. I'm not going to... Listen to what they're saying. Maybe they'll tell you where to put it, or your idiot will tell you where to put it. Yeah. I'm clearly coming down now. I'm clearly coming down now. Where are you fucking going? <laughs> Emma is now fully facing <laughs> out the window. I'm coming down. <laughs> She's laughing so hard she's got bright red. She doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> she doesn't want to be on camera because she's bright red. Don't fucking talk to me. 
Oh, I've messed up my hair. I put Dracula, Dracula in that very old chair. Yeah. What are you saying? I don't have Dracula. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. What am I supposed to get next? Maybe you. Oh my god! Oh fucking hell! Alright, well maybe I can put this on top as well and get you across this way. Play to the Liverpool bus stop. Took me back to episode of Father Ted where there's a murmuring of descent from a crowd and then you hear someone go, fucking hell. That is one of my favourite jokes in Father Ted. Annoyingly, that is Graham Linnan's voice. <laughs> I also love that joke. <laughs> Fucking hell! I just, I just, I just really like the English accents make like it funnier. Then, isn't it funnier though with the English accents? Yeah. What are you doing, you silly cow? Uh, <laughs> what are you doing, you fucking bitch? I mean, uh, it's a good question. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm trying to get various pieces in place, but I think I'm just fucking things up. Uh, oh, I can rotate the hook. I also forgot about that. Like, lift this up and I rotate this around. Yes. Corbin, I mean, Governor, she's a finch, I'm breaching. Look at her, silly gal. No. <laughs> Look at her, silly gal. I see what you do, Dingus. Scream. Okay, I think I can do this. Maybe. This is what sort of magic world is this where a crane can lift up that? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I put that sideways. And this over top. Shut up, I'm busy. Leave me alone. You're gonna kill people. I probably am. Right, if I can put you over top, can you then just climb it? That's enough. Surely you can just climb across now, Ilya. Where is he again? Wait, is this even the wrong? Oh my god, it's the wrong fucking way. Hang on, I need to put this back now. I'm doing it the wrong fucking direction. I think I need to go over this way. Yeah, oh my Christ. They're gonna yell at me more. Imagine seeing a nun doing this around you. I would be captivated. Right, I need to put you. Calm down, Ilya. This will all be over soon. I need to latch onto this. Over here. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> that goes down there. That's perfect. Fuck you, silly cow. <laughs> I mean, this is. You watch soap operas, so this is just what they sound like. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> the other times I've heard, you stay, you cow. Yeah, okay. It's the worst. <laughs> Right, if I put this into place, this should be fixed. I and then you can run across. The you can scamper. There, scamper across. Go. <laughs> that's that's enough, surely! Did you hear what that guy said? No. She's getting to my nerves. <laughs> right, let's run across here and forget that this ever happened. They're going to kill us if we get caught by them. Hi. Sorry that took so long. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it's okay, she's forklift certified. I can laugh English accents, you can, because I'm happy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can laugh at them because they're funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Ilya, come on. Well, this balance is probably a bit off because of the whole air mode. Thing. Whatever, then he shouldn't have gotten it stuck, should he? <laughs> he shouldn't have been in a train crash. <laughs> <laughs> he pushed her! No, I didn't. He pushed her! I just jumped off. He pushed her. Mm -hmm. I saw him. <laughs> we won't stand for this in a few more hours. <laughs> Wait! To be fair, I that? would probably go, Hey, what are you doing? But there's no way I would ever try and interfere or do anything about <laughs> but it. But if she could have the magic to lift up the entire walls. It's a crane. For truly, I say to you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to the mountain, Move from there to here. Stop reading this nonsense. I mean, this religion. <laughs> we can all have a British accent that brings the world together. Well, our together. accents are quite funny too. Like if it was an Irish accent saying, <gasps> you silly cow. 
That's not what an Irish... You don't really say cow in Irish. Uh, no. Bint. <laughs> Sounds more kids. natural in Irish accent, but I think that's also it's English. Over. Mm. Been too long already. Last day the 23rd. Today, the cadets will be taken further. You'll be able to find it in the lips. Oh, no, you have to yeah. go looking for more. That's where. Yeah. Please, if you only knew what we've been through. I see the People devil. showed up from other countries. Everyone who wanted to was already venerated. <coughs> I'm a if nun. You don't let me see. <coughs> the Stop dead. that. Go away. Annoying noise. Shut up and watch your game. And he. I've got no arm. I can be honest with you, right? No. No. Don't. No. Do not say that you oh. see the devil. Shh. They'll kill you. Your swag too different. <laughs> They'll kill you. <gasps> you stupid you cow. You are a silly cow. He's been through. Oh, fine. We'll wait here. He's gonna go get a we'll Russian bear cop. <sighs> this girl. Well, I suppose she's only probably eighteen. She is a, a young nun. Did you tell him everything? Can we listen? <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry. The priest will never break the seal of confession. <laughs> He's had worse. Trust me. I don't know. This way. Oh, oh right. Jesus Christ! Instant retribution. There he is. There he hey. is. No, no, we, we were just joking around. He has a knife. Don't come closer. <laughs> You're so no incompetent in this. No, he is what I'm the way he's gonna do. He'll stab me. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Shoot him. Oh, I love how realistically Shoot awkward him. it all is. <gasps> Freedom, my dear. Hey, it's here. We're just in more and more trouble. Okay. Uh, no, don't help him. He was a fucker. <laughs> don't help the priest. No. Oh, don't feel sorry for a priest in general has low respect. A shot priest and a betrayer priest? No. <coughs> that looks a little bit like it has <coughs> ornamental <coughs> vaginas on it. He's got a knife. He'll stab me or take me <laughs> away and ravage me relentlessly. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> that soldier's a bit caked up. Hey, come, come, come here. Help me. Are you? Oh hold my it, god, it. you fucking idiot! Don't, it's not gonna reattach your arm! Come on, with your hands up! Help you, Dan. I'm gonna count to three. The fuck? I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> well, he thinks it's gonna reattach his arm because he thinks it's miracles. And he's dumb. It's not gonna work if it does. I'd love him if it did. <laughs> I just need to pray harder. <laughs> I just need to pray harder, then my arm will be back. Lick it. I'm gonna hold it. <laughs> oh my god. Usually people show up about their legs. And? They grow back. It's not about that. You see, if the Lord allows. <laughs> Like they're just having a conversation. Enough. Let it go. Are you taking the relic? That's probably like Christ's foreskin or something. You can't have it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's holding up his arm. God will sort it. God has not been kind to you two. <laughs> No! Oh, did you push me over? <laughs> I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kick your other fucking arm. <laughs> I'm gonna turn you into a nugget at the end of this. I'm gonna get <laughs> gonna get all of your limbs gone and you can wiggle around like a oh little caterpillar. Oh my god, pillar. what have we done? We can't see each other anymore. <laughs> Why not? You Heathen sinner. sinner. <laughs> What's the biblical term for a loose woman? Jezebel. Jezebel. That's it. You Jezebel. 
I'm getting married. Oh. <gasps> this is why you get fucking sent off to be a nun. What? what? This isn't my decision. What can I do? Run away Run with away me. Run away with me. No, I'm reading. I'm reading Mirko. <laughs> no, to wander around with the tribe? <laughs> no, just the two of us. We can make it if we try. <laughs> and how will we earn a living? We'll get by. I'll get a job. But for starters, do you know where your father keeps the key to his register? Oh, he's just gonna steal He's from gonna her. fuck her and then steal everything from her dad, obviously. You have terrible taste. Last time we saw these fuckers, he was like pushing you in a pond. And now suddenly she's racing for him. We can't steal from my father. Why stealing? He wouldn't withhold money from his own daughter, right? He only runs the store for your sake. I have my own key to the register. My father trusts me, but I would never... I'll do everything myself. Just give me the key. You're gonna... This is how you get none! He steals our motorbikes, skulls up, sleeps with you, and then says that's a lot. Exactly. This is a freak. She is, she's really into, like, the horrible, pathetic bad boy, isn't she's she? She's only a child. I know, but she has terrible taste. But she's very naive. I know she's a Russian peasant, but my God. I thought she was with Ilya. This is the flashbacks. <laughs> this is like the flashbacks to why she was sent to the nunnery. This is when she's, like, 15 or whatever. Because she seemed to have some sort mm -hmm. of affair with Remember this. all the motorbike stuff and the pond skipping on alligators and frogs? And shit. Maybe we shouldn't steal from my father. <laughs> well, too late. He's already snatched your key because you were a loose woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's her pa. Is that her pa? Mm -hmm. So that's who steals our bikes. Shit! <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> Did he kill him? Is this? Oh, I'm doing um Pac-Man. Oh no! You're, you're it's Pac-Man. I need to collect all name? the gold. Mirko. I'm Mirko now. I'm Mirko. I'm a I'm a hot swarthy boy. Oh no! Please don't throw wrenches at me. <laughs> I don't deal well with it. <laughs> Please stop throwing wrenches. Ow! Ah, kid. Well, he's throwing fucking wrenches at me. It's not easy to dodge. <laughs> that was the whole thing in Dodgeball, when he would throw wrenches at them. What? You know, in Dodgeball. That movie. Meant I haven't seen it. Uh, you don't need to. But <laughs> at one point, he patches a hula and throws a wrench at somebody. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> Okay, I've collected all the gold. I'm done. Get out. Get out before he wrenches you again. Oh! <laughs> he's got a gun. Oh my god, he's got a gun. You will not leave. Indica! What are you doing here? Do you know him? I... I... <gasps> I don't know him. I, di I didn't just get ravished to within an inch of my life. My heaving bosoms aren't giving me away. <laughs> just play it. Sure you don't know? No. no. Indica! Stay away from her, he seems to know you. I don't know! Oh my god, it's the Jesus thing, it's Judas or whatever. Oh, no, Which Thomas. one doubted? Doubting Thomas? No, doubting, did doubting Thomas deny him? Who was the one that denied him? Thomas. Was it Peter? No, it was Thomas. No, that was afterwards with the fingering of the hole. I, anyway, I don't know. Yeah, somebody denied him three times. Okay, go on, go on. I don't know. Okay. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Fuck me, Dad! That's a bit harsh! He was only stealing a little Jesus. bit of money! Jesus! <laughs> oh my god. Well, and then we got none, I'm assuming. Oh, I've taken off my hat. Have it. You're still with him after he pushed you? Well, I think I might be caught by a boy. Like, he's got two arms. I've been caught. He, he, oh, this isn't Ilya. This is some yeah. fella. He shoved me, and now I've been arrested. Well, you didn't do anything. There was a lot about him in the papers. Like, you didn't shoot anyone. Mm -hmm. You keep on getting involved with men who shoot other people. Men. I, I have the worst possible well, taste. Them off. Are you comparing him to me? Well, no. No, I think Makar is something of a saint. Are you Listen, on Northern now? Let me tell you. Makar had three kids. Ah, sure. All of them boys. Can you not see this poor bitch or something? <laughs> One day, walk along the, the fish fuck corridor. Was that? Youngest, what was that? Like a there? wagon, some fish, or a wardrobe, or something. 
It was so bad that the poor boy stopped. I just is really. I I know like it's Couldn't it kind of works no. sometimes. Like you know the death of Stalin, well, the all of English, cry. British mm. English accent, British English accents. Um, but, but this is sort of distracting here. Really? <laughs> I don't know. I find it more distracting here. Take it anymore. But well, because this is playing it more prince, seriously said, with the death of Stalin. It with its uh, death of Stalin was a comedy. Yeah. yeah. The child suffering. Well, the priest didn't bless him, of course. He sent him home to pray and think about the salvation of his soul. Salvation. Okay, Sean Bean. Mac, I prayed for a week, but the sun wouldn't stop. Why are you telling her this awful story? Some people have so it worse. <laughs> the news, sweetheart. <laughs> took the cover off his side. She's probably going to get like. I do like her hair, hair actually. She's, she's very pretty. She's probably going to get you know a really badly mistreated. It's very Joan of Arc. It's she does look very Joan of Arc. I don't have a soul anymore. Like that episode of The Simpsons. Right Why is everyone going so fucking slowly? Uh, we're all <laughs> sad. It's Russia. <laughs> do you stop saying? Well, look <laughs> at us. <laughs> look at this horrible car. Well, this is not a realistic depiction of Russia. There's giant cranes and giant walls and giant fish. Have you been to Russia? Russia has giant fish, doesn't it? Yes. And giant dogs. Yes. Have you been to Russia? No. Then how would you know? In a way, you gave him a gift. Sent him straight to the kingdom of heaven without any earth. She didn't do anything. It was fucking Ilya. I know. Well, we did also break in. We, yeah, I mean, they're probably angry didn't. about the whole crane situation. Yeah, but she didn't shoot your man or the so priest. I know. So this is not her fault. Said a prayer. And she's only like eighteen or some shit. She's pretty. She's pretty nice. She was like 22 or but something. That, he went no, she said that she became a nun when she was 16, and this was like two or three years yeah, later. Managed to kill four of them before he got caught. Why is he a saint? Think of it this way. Some martyr gets burned at the stake because of Christ. Does it mean he buys himself eternal life for ten minutes of suffering? Hmm? Can we call this a real sacrifice? My car is a different story. To say if someone else is sorely <laughs> sacrificed his own. Why? Uh, I don't Why like are you telling me all this? Stuff. Father Proc. She didn't kill, kill him, you fucker. She did nothing. He couldn't have asked for a better She's just gift. a silly, innocent little nun. He's now an innocent victim. A martyr. Maybe he'll even be canonised. Stop pushing me. You are going well, very him. slowly. Well, I'm, he's yeah, going I'm slowly him. too. I'm sandwiched between these two men. Ooh. I mean, she'd love it, but not in, this, <laughs> not in the fish hallway. You don't know. She might be into the smell of fish. Uh. <laughs> no, she insisted that Armo bathe. Yeah, but he didn't. What to you? Oh, you look so much smaller out of the nun habit. You'll get hanged, I guess. Hanged? Please don't. Jesus. What's your name? It doesn't matter. Need something? Doesn't matter indeed. Listen, we didn't kill Father Buckle. Thank you. Let me go. Don't take your conscience with sin. Well, they did kill him. No, I didn't take... I mean, the, they didn't have a gun. Okay. It was the accidental shooting that happened. Mm. I mean, they were indirectly the cause of it, but they didn't actually kill him. Well, what do you want? What do I want? Oh, I wonder what he could possibly do. Oh, like. no, not this again. Please. <laughs> Turn around. Oh, God. Turn around. Please don't. Oh, oh. Come on. Now sing. Okay, it's still creepy. I don't know. Something, French anthem. I don't know their anthem. <laughs> well, sing something you know. <laughs> Oh, don't masturbate while she sings. That's somehow weirder. Oh! Stop making that noise! Kill him with something. <laughs> Kill him with something. You are! Satan, strike him down. Strike this man down. I'm losing uh, experience points and gems. 
Of course you are, because it's always the woman against me. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like what's happening. I really don't like this. I guess I can't do anything worse than that. Oh my god, you poor woman. <laughs> Step where? Somewhere. On Give me my side. fucking points back! What kind of side is that? Are you going to argue again? That there are no sides? That there's neither good nor evil? Well, you can try. Convince me that I haven't done anything bad. Or can you not even do that now? Bad? What does that word mean? You I've killed a priest. Bad. You're getting assaulted. And you didn't technically kill the priest, either. But still, what exactly does that word mean? Bad. Oh, I want to wrap her in a blanket. <laughs> Just put her by some fire. He's probably not going to let her go, either. No. Like, why, why would you? There no. You know, like, so we're checking not against the formal list himself, of regulations. No, everything moment. is really obvious. It's evil, dishonest, unfair. Evil. They were right about There's not bothering not a drop with the experience. Of evil in despondency, <laughs> avarice, or bawdry. Dishonest. It seems unfair that she loses all. A dog all. is honest. It eats when it's hungry, bites when well, it's they were scared, all religious copulates when there's some we were leveling up shame and guilt well, and mm. gathering we relics and artifacts and stuff like that. For one but second. what did all of that get so us? So pretending in a cell being horribly molested by a man. <laughs> that you don't feel something you feel for eternal life in heaven. Doesn't that and fit for, perfectly? And still blaming ourselves. <laughs> what else did you say? Unfair. Is it fair that one tree has a thousand leaves and another two thousand? Is it fair when two people throw the dice, one gets a six and the other gets a two? Shut up. Of course, all this <laughs> is rational, but we don't like this rationality. We angrily call it unfair. But if you forget your emotions, it turns out, strictly speaking, this word can't be applied to any. What about what's happening now? What can be more revolting, disgusting, vile? I don't need any deliberations. I know it. I feel it. When you're cold, you don't need to think about it. You just feel it. You know that you're cold. Do you understand that there is no cold without warmth? Shut up, Satan. Yeah, leave her alone. You can't get rid of poverty and suffering, leaving only wealth and happiness. Come on, let all the points go to say it will shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, I'd love to. But I will only disappear when you stop wanting me to. It's not that hard. Just remember that good and evil, warm and cold, those are just lines on a thermometer. God and the devil, those are you. Just one tire moser back. cannot exist without the other. I think maybe trigger warning, lads. <laughs> maybe look away from the screen. We don't know what we're about to see. I d oh, it probably won't be too bad. I, I think they artfully handled it. <laughs> artfully handled well, it. Uh, compared to what it could have been. Let's say complete exposure. No, you can't. I tell you what. Fear not earthly justice for that of heaven. Hello, Satan. When Can you kill him? Separated from the body. Ah! 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 Stop right there, you bitch! Oh, stop! My hand! My hand! Ah! Run! Fuck! Stop! Stop right there, you bitch! Help! Well, obviously, I was expecting that. I thought stream would be fun. I mean, the the game. I wasn't it like the first half an hour we witnessed a horrible sexual assault. Did you put it your warning? I think so. I think if you type exclamation mark CW, I can't remember it's for this or uh, Vampire the Masquerade though. I'm playing a lot of heavy games at the moment. <laughs> Hello, can you let me out? Why am I in first person now? Oh, I don't like being in first person. It feels weird and I don't like it at all. Hello. Poor girl. 
She's all gone now. I guess I'll go down this alleyway. Hello, Mr. Raving Drunk Man. Can you help me? I'm having a horrible day. I don't, <laughs> I'm having the worst day. I don't think he can help you because he doesn't have a key or no. anything. No. But I don't know. He could just, like, uh, hug me or something. <laughs> Maybe Indica's a vampire. <laughs> Poor Indica. Hi. Oh, I do not like the motion blur. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to try and move the mouse very slowly. Hello. What's that sound? Some sort of... Is that a baby? Sad wailing. Is that a baby? I don't know. Some sort of shouting. Could be a baby or a cat or a man. I have no idea. Did a bomb hit here? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Hello, can you help me? I'm so, so sad. You've got the Russian hat. All of these men are just drunk. And just like, oh, every time you see men, they're just drunk and like swaying. Well, yeah, all the men in this are either Armo, incredibly drunk or incredibly evil. <laughs> the wokes got to it. <laughs> Father wasn't evil. He was just defending his show. Yeah, the father. Yeah, even our dad, who was nice, just blew a man in half in front of us. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Hi. Where is Hello, the Hello, Armo. One second. Are you drunk too? Oh. oh. You fucking air. Do, do my trousers. Oh, he's wet. Oh the my God! You fucking pissed yourself. Well, um. <laughs> they didn't even give me five rubles for it. What? Give me the money. I don't have any. It's gone. You know, I've already conquered the guitar, but the, the brass, the pipes. You've got one arm. How are you going to play that? Oh, my fucking God. This has gotten very depressing. <laughs> <laughs> It's best to say that he's just walking around, because he would yes. get arrested too. Mm -hmm. Well, he ran off and like, escaped. Yeah, I know, but she's just escaped. It's right by the prison. Yes, he's it's just been... hanging out it's randomly. A, it's silly, like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Where is the shit I'm Matt Lucas. Me. Hmm, never heard of it. Someone just exchanged it for a trumpet. A, a man with one arm. Oh, you are extremely lucky. <laughs> this is exactly what you're looking for. An amazing artifact of unspeakable wondrous power. Just 25 rubles. You bought what it for five. Mean, 25, you got it for five. Mm. 20 for everything. Well, that's a better deal. <laughs> Why would you want the little chicken thing? <laughs> She's going to work on that. Just need to have you can look, but, but don't touch. Run oh, away with it. What did you sell me, you scumbag? Oh, damn. Oh, my God. He's going to beat him oh, to death with a fucking... It, it doesn't even fucking work. Puke in it or something. Hello, Satan. Hello, Satan. Hi. Um, Jesus. Can you... I don't know. Oh, it's me. It's the reflection. Oh, the poor, poor woman. Oh, God. You would... Why does therapy not exist in this world? It's like the early 1900s. I know, but my God. The best you can get is like... I'd even take Freud over this shit. It, the best you can get is electric shock therapy to the head. Am I just... All I'm doing is praying over this over and over again and just hoping this goes away, I guess. This is the only action I can take is just pray over and over. No. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> well, they, they knew it would be a sad game. <laughs> Oh, that's true. It hadn't been invented yet. Electric shock therapy. Mm -hmm. That was the 1920s. But My... you know, I, I, similar practices like stuff that we'd see as torture. What well, is torture? But they didn't see as torture. They were like, "Oh, this will cure you of your madness." Oh, okay. I, I leveled. Oh, I don't know if we should be leveling up this again. <laughs> Stop! Just leave. 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 Well, I'll, I'll get some points back. Well, you, <laughs> the, points are, the points aren't useful. No, they're not. And you'll probably just turn more into the devil. Mm, stop! Maybe. Just stop! Stop! Are you opening it up? What are you doing with it's this? Probably f like it's gonna be like I don't know. Oh, jugger! <laughs> Go on. What's in it? It's There's empty, is it? it? I mean, if it wasn't even worth five rubles. Let's just 
an empty box. Oh, Indica. You might as well just kill everyone. <laughs> yeah, honestly, go for it still. <laughs> yeah, get a gun and just shoot everybody. Where did Ilya and the shark uh, They might be fighting outside. Oh, did she rip up her crucifix thing? Uh, yeah, her, Not her rosary. crucifix, her rosary beads. That had been digging into her hand all this time. Guessing that's the faith broken then. <laughs> you go under that and go into like the back. I'm not in control right now. Oh, all right. Just sort of dazed looking around, I think. Oh, maybe you should leave Russia. <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna do it, but maybe go somewhere is this Is this like the ending? I have no idea. It feels like it might be. That was sad. <laughs> That's apparently the ending. That's unbelievably fucking bleak. <laughs> what the fuck? That's it. That's it. Ah. <laughs> that was a bit anticlimactic. It was a little bit. I will say, I would have appreciated more weakness or more weirdness. I will say. More, I was expecting more, a lot more. Yes, I I would have appreciated. I liked the game. I thought it was fine. I would give it like a 7 out of 10, I think. I liked it okay, but I would have liked it if it went a bit more weird and a bit more artistic. You know, like I said, I was expecting like Alejandro Jodorowsky or something. I was expecting like Holy Mountain or something bizarre. I didn't get that. Religion bad, is that it? That's kind of the game, yeah. <laughs> it's like religion and shame and guilt and stuff bad. It's not exactly... I think the game sold itself on the trailer and stuff as a bit more the devil, deep than it was. The devil's voiced by Silas. The Harris. devil is voiced by Silas. And course. Ilya is Louis. <laughs> and Indica is Isabella. Mm -hmm. <laughs> trailer very deceptive. This is why I don't like trailers. I thought it was going to be fun and spooky, not about sexual abuse. Oh, I assumed it was going to be about sexual abuse. <laughs> but what? I thought it was going to be because of the church? way weirder. Yeah, I mean, it's a sort of horror drama about the church what else is it going to be about really <laughs> religion bad is that it though that is basically the only theme it had i think it it thought it was a bit smarter than it actually was i she still never, liked it i thought it was a good thing she never even got to it's have eastern europe it'll be she in never even got to have sex with Ilya. no we got a uh, pussy blocked <laughs> is that the term <laughs> i assume <laughs> Marketing, and, oh, I don't need to see the trailers of like the graphic designer and the video editors. I mean, it was fine. The editing and the graphic design was all good. It was all all good. Good for you, Julia Kuzvik. Is okay. there a way to skip? No, there isn't. So I no, guess maybe we'll there'll just be chat. an after credit scene. <laughs> there might be. An oh God, I hope not. This feels like if any game shouldn't have an after credit scene setting up a sequel or anything, it should be this new game plus where you get to save. You get the a second arm for Armo. He gets like a golden bejeweled robot arm. Yeah, what do you think will happen to Ilya? Uh, drunk and dead on the side of a street in three days. Probably, yeah. I think he will uh, be just devastated well, maybe, that it didn't work. Maybe he'll get caught and he'll be hanged for the mm -hmm. priest's death. You probably will maybe. be caught. You probably will oh, be Oh yeah, I'm probably too. fucked as well. Like, unless I run away immediately and it looks like I'm just kind of standing around dazed after losing my faith after a horrible assault. Well, where are you going to go? Exactly. Like, unless I run away and, like, live in France or something, I'm fucked. He, Ilya is definitely fucked. He's never getting over that. Losing his arm and realizing that the fucking thing didn't work and pawning it like he's done forever. For five yeah, he's done. Uh, and he's he's gonna be dead in a week. <laughs> Everybody else. I mean, the nuns probably will be okay. I guess the other nuns who hated us and bullied us constantly. Yeah. The nuns who like. Fetch, asked us to fetch water from a well and then kicked us over at the start of the game they'll probably be alright even the even the priest who died you know they said he might get canonised so like <laughs> who knows <laughs> incredibly bleak game here from the Russians yeah. it is what you expect from Russians and again I don't mean to be stereotypical about the Russians here but 
they are stereotypically their literature is unbelievably bleak i would say this is one of the least bleak things i've read from a russian is i mean reading dostoevsky is more unpleasant <laughs> beyond two soul siberian version i would say this kicks the shit out of beyond two souls but that's not saying anything what's beyond, beyond two souls beyond two souls is like a a one out of ten video game by David Cage. Is that you know one, that sex pest. Is that the one with Elliot Page? Yes. And they have a And Willem Dafoe. Yes, and they they play It's the one where David Cage made like a nude model of them without their permission. But they, like, they had like scenes. somebody's uh they had like a person in their head they were talking to. Yes, it was about a, a ghost. Together, didn't we? The bear is in hell, exactly. Did we play that together? Or did we just watch somebody? I think play? we watched Northern Lion play it, maybe at some point. Mm. I can't remember. It is a really bad game. I think all of David Cage's games are some of the worst games. For a while, David Cage was respected by the games industry, and I think it's one of the greatest shames of the games industry. And I think people now try and forget it, but I don't <laughs> want them to let them. People respected David Cage. People, when Heavy Rain came out, people went, this is a masterpiece. It is a laughably shit game, and I won't let people forget this. It's like when reviewers praised like The Phantom Menace when it first came out. They cannot be allowed to forget. <laughs> it's the 25th anniversary of The Phantom Menace. It is. I think they're re-releasing it. <laughs> Both lots of trudging through snow and trauma for death, exactly. So is that it? Yes, that is it. I will say, I, eh, maybe a six and a half out of ten. I, I, was, I was leaning towards seven, seven and a half, but then the ending is a bit anticlimactic and it kind of <laughs> throws the rest of it into a bit more relief. Mm. Whereas, like, you know, a lot of just kind of meandering puzzles mm. didn't really have that much to say. No. I, I thought it was going to be a bit deeper and a bit a bit more interesting instead of it feels like the favorite game circa 2016 of a reddit or slash atheism mod yes. where it is basically just like you know this is religion bad the game but I thought it was very pretty I like the acting I like the characters and I liked how the story was told for the most part so I was, I'm still giving it like more than like a 5 or a 6 I liked it are we finishing now? Because I can go to the post office. Yeah, if you want to do a short stream, if you want, if you're busy. Well, I'm not busy, busy. I can go tomorrow, but since we're finished. <laughs> yeah, if you want to. <laughs> I had hoped it was going somewhere higher than the Fallout series. Well, this never made me think, who the fuck made this and why? <laughs> I guess I'm like it's the no Fallout Little series. Croco game. <laughs> <laughs> I also prefer... Uh, Little Croco game I liked bits of. It just got very frustrating by the end. I also found it far hard to follow as a viewer. Yeah, it was a bit confusing at times. Yeah, it was. Yeah, a little bit. Well, it was confusing. I liked, I, I will say, one of the bits of weirdness that I thought worked quite well was, and I wish they had done it more. If it was about an hour or two longer, I would have liked it. And also, if they had done more of the, um, like, genre switching. Like, I liked when it would go third person to first person to pixel art and platformer and stuff like that I would have liked more of that where it's like different eras <sighs> of her life are in different genres that's interesting I thought idea, that would yeah. be good but they only did it really a couple of times well also is, yeah. also you know she's very young she's she like, is she hasn't had much yeah life. maybe like make numbers. her like 30 and then have like no I think it works different genres I think it works better that she's a teenager yeah it is I don't know I just think the devil was hinting out of stuff that I wanted more exploration of things yes like more well, the devil was being very very broad and sort of world encompassing like you cannot get rid of poverty and stuff and it just felt a bit much mm. um like, I wanted to, like, hear more about Indica's, like, you know, her relationship with the pig guy. Yes. And why the nuns were so mean to her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just sort of her backstory in general. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, why her... More about the dad sending her to the mm -hmm. nunnery. And and more stuff about Ilya. Like, I would like to have known what Ilya's deal was. Mm -hmm. Why was he in prison? Mm -hmm. Like, it all just sort of just came to an end. Yeah. And I know that's kind of the point. It's like, this yes. was all pointless and hopeless. But like... Yeah, that their entire journey was... <laughs> Their entire journey was a pointless experience. Like, it just felt a bit shallow. It's like the MacGuffin at the end. Again, this is a, a great uh, thing for the Fallout show. The MacGuffin at the end in this is pointless and it breaks them and they realise that it was all pointless. Whereas the MacGuffin in the Fallout show is like this, is actually like world destroying power. And I think both are bad. <laughs> well, actually, I prefer this. You said you weren't going to talk about the Fallout No, show. I won't talk about Fallout, I'm sorry. <laughs> So do you want to play something else or do you want to end? Because I can go tomorrow. I don't know. We can do like a couple of quizzes or something if you want. 
It was fine. I liked Indica. I thought it was good. I'd recommend it to people, but I I didn't think it was as good as it could what have been. What about we go to four o'clock? Uh, sure, we can do another half an hour of something. I don't know. Do you have anything in mind that you'd like to do? Oh, it's up to you. Beano quizzes? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, Beano. I hate the Beano. You don't like the Beano? Even them. as a kid? I'm not playing the Beano. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, they're not about the Beano. Mm. It's just like BuzzFeed. Mm. I mean, it's a horrible website. It's one of the worst websites I've seen. Decline cookies. Like, which Pokemon are you? Totally fascinating Titanic facts. What this has to do with the Beano? I have no idea. Distract from PTSD. <laughs> Let's do um geography quizzes. Serious the ultimate quizzes. Robin Williams quiz. No serious quizzes. <laughs> what serious quiz? Like, like Britannica? Or yeah, something? those are fun. Uh, Britannica quizzes browse. Not silly quizzes. I think we've done all of these. To be honest, at least the newer ones, like editors' picks. Name, Name that thing. Histor- Name the historical figure. Yeah, sure. If you want, to. have we done this one already? I'm not really sure. Famous novels, first lines. I'm not even joking. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oregon Trail. I would, may, I would consider playing Oregon Trail as a one-off at some point because Oregon Trail looks deranged, and I'm surprised that so many people played it as kids in school, like that it was considered kind of an educational game because it's it's like brutal. Death <laughs> after death after death in that game. Name that historical figure. Freud. That's Freud. He has the little glasses. Uh. I saw an a letter, a screenshot of a letter that Sigmund Freud sent somebody recently. I think it might have been his wife, where he was like, I'm going to stuff you full of food so your belly's all round and then fuck you while I'm full of cocaine or something. <laughs> And I was like, that makes sense. <laughs> no one's redeemed a second kazoo. No. Someone People should, are sick of it. Someone should redeem the safety name. No, this please kid, don't. That, the, I the do song, not like that. The song that Kane didn't know. Freud, letter, cocaine, food, maybe. Uh, here we go. No, 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 my princess. When I come, I will kiss you red and feed you till you're plump. And if you are forward, you shall see who's the stronger. A gentle little girl who doesn't eat enough. Or a big wild man with cocaine in his body. Right. Sigmund Freud. I have to go over to the desktop. I can do it. They can't see. Have you? It's Sigmund Freud. Oh, is it not where his Twitch broken again? That is Alfred Capone. I don't know if his name was Alfred. It's probably something like Alfonso E. Al Capone. Yeah, <laughs> with his big old lips. Uh, that's uh, Amelia, Amelia Earhart. Earhart, I think. Yes, it is. I don't know what any of these other people... I, I think I might know what Agatha I know Christie, looks, Christie like. looks like. I think I'd know how to She looks like posh woman, right? Amelia Earhart, that's distinctive. That's, That's Rosa, Rosa Parr. I'm doing it. Stop. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know. That. <laughs> Neither do I. That's I not think Washington. I might know. That's not Washington. Is no, it? no, I think I think I could narrow it down. I don't know. I don't know either. I think it might be Thomas Jefferson or John Adams. It's Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> Jefferson. That's Malcolm X. That is Malcolm X. I like his glasses. I th- I was thinking of getting glasses that looked like that. I think he had a good style. <laughs> yeah. That's Andy, That's War- Andy Warhol. Ah, obviously. let me Sorry. Say. If I know, let me say. Um, that's Harriet Tubman. Mm-hmm. Uh, abolitionist woman? I don't actually know anything about Un- Harriet under- Tubman. Underground Railroad woman. Yeah, I know she's very famous in America, for obvious reason, and they're, they keep trying to put her on the money, and the mint go, No! Only slave owners. <laughs> they were going to make a movie about her, and the the executive actually wanted to cast Julia Roberts. <laughs> and and the what? and the director said, you you know she needs to be a black woman. And the executive producer was like, ah, no, we don't care. What? It's true. Google it. That's insane. Google it after the quiz. Google Harriet Tubman and and uh, Julia Roberts. That's insanity. You can Google it after. <laughs> That's Frida Kahlo. That is Frida Kahlo. You can tell because of the eyebrow. Unibra. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's Marx, our friend. It's it's Mr. Marx. Hi, Marx. Welcome back. <laughs> that's that's uh, Beethoven. 
Yes, that is Beethoven. He don't, looks so mad. Don't you say it in that tone That's like a I don't know don't what any of these s- other people look like. Don't you say that in that tone. Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? Joan of Arc. It's Joan of Arc. Hot uh, historical icon. <laughs> Queen Victoria. Oh, she looks like such a fucking... What, what did my dad always say about miserable looking people? Like a bulldog licking piss off a nettle. <laughs> yes, or what's the British one that they always say on like soaps? You look, you got a face like a slapped arse. <laughs> the back end of a bus. <laughs> exactly. She looks horrible. Mardy. <laughs> That's Eleanor Roosevelt. I don't Roosevelt. know who you are. Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> I have no, I would have no idea. The only one of these I would recognize is probably Marie Curie. That's apparently Eleanor Roosevelt. Is that Alexander Graham Bell? I don't know. He's got the brightest little eyes. I don't know why. Just he makes me feel at ease he looking looks, at his face. He looks like Santa Claus. He does. He looks so nice. He looks so... I, I'd like to like sit on his lap and just get a hug. Yay! He's got the same kind of face as Nick Mohammed from Testmaster at the do you, moment. Do you know? Who, yeah, yeah. Do you know who this fella is? No. Uh, I don't know who he I is. have no idea who this man is. It's Sitting Bull, apparently. That was just a guess. Tecumseh, I only know, is a person because of Cheers. They have a model of Tecumseh by the door. This is Darwin, right? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's Darwin. I've never seen him with a hat before. Blackbeard? Yes. Although, he, does he have candles in his Yay! face? Yay! <laughs> so go on, look up okay. um, Julia Roberts. I am, just give me the mouse. Julia Roberts and Harriet Tubman. Julia uh, Roberts, Harriet Tubman. Julia, uh, Har- Julia Roberts as Harriet Tubman was one. a racist idea. Go to idea. the Hollywood one. Studio executive once suggested Julia Roberts to play Harriet Tubman. <laughs> According to Harriet screenwriter Gregory Allen Howard. Oh my God. In a recent interview, Howard was asked about the production history. He said it was first Hollywood assignment. Um... I was to one studio had said in a meeting this script is fantastic let's get Julie Roberts when someone pointed out that she couldn't be Harry the executive responded it was so long ago no one is going to know the difference my god I mean people make jokes about studio execs but like they air like parodies of themselves aren't they like it just seems they're more cocaine than person <sighs> it's insane look at that that makes me so angry uh, Peter Jackson working on New Lord of Things films for Warner Brothers oh, fuck off Jackson coming do you not out, have enough coming out in two years make brain dead again make dead alive or whatever the fuck uh, he is, would make is before is the Gollum films he's making going to be a trilogy oh please no well, it please says, don't it says films mm-hmm. for New Lord of the Rings movies which they anticipate releasing in 2026 uh, and will explore to- storylines left to be told the first the fil- first film will be called The Hunt for Gollum no it will be called The Lord of the Rings The Hunt for Gollum mm-hmm. I think Gulag for Peter Jackson I don't like saying it as mo- uh, any more than you like hearing it because I know everybody likes Peter Jackson and I like Peter Jackson but Gulag sorry three years Gulag in fact yeah I know actually I agree like Everybody involved. Andy Circus, sorry, I like you, Andy Circus. Gulag, three years. You, you don't get out of the gulag for being nice. I'm very, very upset. Jackson could spin a single word written by Tolkien into a trilogy. <laughs> Make like weird shit, like your fucking puppet movies and. <laughs> Thank you for the raise. <laughs> we just finished a game. So now we're just looking around. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. It, it only says what this one's about. What are the other ones about? Or is it going to be a trilogy? Just said, it better not be a trilogy. I mean, it, I wish it wasn't happening at all, but it better not be a trilogy. Lord of the Rings, The Hunt for Gollum. Does it have a Wikipedia page? It's fair. There's a fan film called The Hunt for Gollum. Oh, I've Ooh. heard, I've heard of that. There's it's a also fan. probably bad. <laughs> I think I'd rather watch that than this. <laughs> hmm. What's worse, after these Gollum movies, some executive will suggest another trilogy. It's like I was saying to Emma the other way. <laughs> Good news, it's a pentology. <laughs> I was saying to Emma the other day that when I saw some studio executive a few years ago say the phrase, uh, we're really underutilizing the IP of the Tolkien universe, my heart sank and I knew that it would always be shit. It from says then there's on. going to be two films. It doesn't say that they're both about Gollum, but mm-hmm. it says at least two films. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, let's see. We started off kind of okay. We got into Warner Brothers. We had the Lord of the Rings film trilogy. Amazing. Then we had the Hobbit film trilogy. Embarrassing. Then we had anime. Yeah, this is coming out soon, isn't yeah, it? No, they're, yeah, they're doing animation the, and stuff as well. The film is scheduled for release in December 2024. The Lord of the Rings, The War of Thorhirium. That's coming out. Return to live action films is coming. Two two were coming out in 2026. One about Gollum. And Am- the Rings of Power, which is even worse than The Hobbit, to be honest. The second that second season is coming out in the summer, isn't it? It is. I'm shocked it got one, to be honest. Because I know they sunk so much money into it, they have to do it. So who's going to? I'm shocked after the response that they were going to do more. Okay, this animated movie, The Lord of the Rings: The The War of the Rohirrim, this set 183 years before the events of the Lord of the Rings film trilogy. This tells the story of Helm Hammerhand. And because of Helm's Deep, a legendary oh, king. Oh, actually, fucking is a oh, legendary no. <laughs> king of Rohan and his family is to defend their kingdom against the Dunderlins. He goes on to be the namesake for the stronghold Helm's Deep, and we've got Brian Cox playing him. Ooh. Uh, Luke Pasqualino Miranda Otto is Eowyn a future shield maiden who narrates the film oh they always do this shit (laughs) we have to have somebody from the previous movies get who's not busy Miranda Otto she's not doing anything get her in (laughs) I'm so upset it is a very upsetting world (laughs) for media right now (laughs) what are we doing now (sighs) he's from Skins apparently that guy whose name I couldn't pronounce. <laughs> I'm so upset. So Why are you going rings of power Well, now? I just want to see when the second season comes out. The I mean, we're not going to be watching the it. The second season is scheduled to be released from August to October. Well, over three months. I guess so. Fucking hell. I mean, honestly, I do prefer that if they're going one a week, that is the better way to do it. Like that's, although I don't know, sometimes that can make it even worse. Like if it gets wor- bad, like Fallout did. <laughs> I can believe Jay. <laughs> Lord thinks it's better when there's only one woman in it. There was, um, actually, there there's two. two. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. It, it's weird because oh. I think it's incredible, but it is a great movie for people who don't like seeing women and things as well. <laughs> well, Tolkien didn't have a lot of female characters. No, no we're wrong. There's three women. There's, uh, there's Arwen. Eowyn, Arwen. Galadriel. Oh, Galadriel, of course. Forgot about Galadriel. How could we forget about Galadriel? Mm. <laughs> She's in it for a whole eight minutes. <laughs> She's very important, though. Great. And I there's, like her a lot. Do we see a lot of girl hobbits? <laughs> Just oh, yeah, there's Ro. Who could forget about Rosie the Hobbit, who has no lines? <laughs> She does. She does says, she have a single line in the She says good night, man. So they leave the camp. <laughs> the love interest of Sam. Yeah, definitely the love interest of Sam. <laughs> they had Can 13. I call you Frodo? <laughs> they, had 13, they had 13 children. <laughs> they did. Because he was a horny hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> you know they'll cast a black character in Lord of the Rings nerds yeah, love that of it. They did that in um Rings of Power. Rings of Power, and they did. That's not why Rings of Power is bad. Focus on why it's bad, not the racism. <laughs> oh my god. Any more of these you want to do or do you want to go? <laughs> any um, any others pop out at you? Let uh, me have a look. Okay. <laughs> I'll, can I just click on all the ones I like? Uh, we'll do one or two more. We, no, we, we'll do as many as I say. Fine. <laughs> um, name that thing science. No. Famous novels first lines. I can do that. I don't know if I can. Name that food. <laughs> <laughs> that one seems like it's for toddlers. <laughs> I can do this one. European Capitals Quiz? I don't think I can. Uh, timer bonus. No. Thing off. No, turn it off. That's what I say. Oh, before you seven. click on it. <laughs> okay. 47 will go quick. Okay, Russia. Capital of Russia. Moscow. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, uh, you know what? No, Let's no, do a bet. Do, I'm doing a bet. Do I'm doing a bet. I'm doing a bet. I'm doing a bet. If we're doing this, we'll do a bet. I want to do it. We're doing European capitals. There is 47 questions. No, so, let me do it. name with the prediction. Okay. How many points? Well, I want to hold the little mouse. Will Emma get? Yay! Uh, outcome one, let's say... They're definitely going to get at least do you 10. Want to come so with me to the post to... office? You can get stuff too. Maybe, I'll see. 21 to I should 30. get some fresh milk for my hot chocolates. 31 to 40 or 41 plus. There you go. And you have two minutes to bet. Is that a prediction? The bet is on now. Emma will be answering these questions. 
next pigs go to post office <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could if you want to they don't they don't really like well they were okay going out the last time they were fine they okay. didn't love it so the first one was Moscow and Russia mm-hmm. I do the little mouse okay. no, I what is the capital of Switzerland Bern I mean the rest of these aren't even in Europe no they're not <laughs> I've never even heard of that top one Asuncion what is the capital of Liechtenstein this one Vaduz's no idea. I've, I know nothing about Liechtenstein. There's like four people that live there. What is the capital of Moldova? This one. Chisnau. Chisinau. I've never heard of it either. What is the capital of Albania? Tirana. I have known none of these. What is the capital of Spain? That's a gimme. Yes. This isn't factually that fun. We're just clicking on things. Yes, I know. That's why I was confused why you clicked it. That's why I ran the bet. I'm sorry. Quicker. What's the capital okay, of Ukraine? Okay, I, I can just go really quick. I'll just click, okay. click, click. Fast mode. Fine. Kiev. Kiev. Kiev, sorry. What's the capital of Turkey? An- Ankara. Ankara. Capital of Montenegro. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I know it's not Ottawa, but apparently it's that one. Uh, Denmark. Capital of Denmark. Copenhagen. Capital of Poland. Uh, these are the gimme ones. Bosnia and Herzegovina. I wouldn't know that one Sarajevo. either. Sarajevo. <laughs> Portugal is Lisbon. Mm-hmm. Croatia. Wouldn't know that one either, to be honest. <laughs> but on the mastermind theme too. <laughs> this is Capital my, of Andorra. This is my, um, my, re- my, what's the thing that they say? I have no idea what you're, you're saying. You're genius. We're in a quiz show. The round where you know everything. I don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> This is just fun as I thought it would be. This was no, very... it's just clicking on capitals. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, if I was on my own, I wouldn't mind. Yes, your specialist round subject. That's it. I've never actually watched Mastermind, by the way. I don't know what it's about. I don't know. I don't know what the format. This of must Mastermind be quite boring is. for you to watch, but I'm having, probably is. I'm having a fun. <laughs> Capital of Luxembourg. Is it Luxembourg? I'm yes. I'm having fun. Capital of Lithuania. I know that one. I don't know why. Iceland. I mean, this is so European capital. We live in Europe. You're going to know all of them. You didn't know loads of them. Riga. I know at least 60% of them. (laughs) You didn't know loads of them. You have a general knowledge round and then a specialist round. Is it good? I don't know. It's a game show. Most of them are annoying. I can't think of many game shows I enjoy. I kind of liked Pointless, I guess, a little bit. But I found them a bit annoying and smug. Yeah, I know what you mean. I liked that show, though. They're fine. They're okay. But, like, a little bit too daytime TV game show for me. I like Catchphrase. Catchphrase was fun. I never liked that. that no, that got in What's Mr. Nerves. Chips doing? I, that got in my nerves. Mr. Chips is doing something. Tell us what it is. No, that got in my nerves. <laughs> Just quietly clicking away. I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw a geography quiz and I went mad. I know. Capital of Georgia. Capital of Monaco. Is it just Monaco? Yes. Does Monaco even have two cities? There. 47 out of 47. I am the best. I am the best. <laughs> that, you look so happy. This is how you keep Emma happy and quiet. Hey! You give her a bag of crisps and a little geography quiz. Gonna... And she will occupy herself and kick her feet. I jiggle. I love you. <laughs> Famous novel, first line. Fine. I'll pay out the best. <laughs> I am happy You are happy That was 41 plus Because Emma's good at these games <laughs> Well for geography Let's do Oh what one do you mean well for geography No I'm saying you're good what at you geography What do you mean well for geography Oh so I'm bad at everything else How many points will Emma get in this one And it's 10 to <sighs> Let's say How many was it 17 It's 17 questions Let's go 1 to what do you mean? Six. She's good at the geography ones. Are you, you saying are good I'm, at the geography But places. you said it like at the geography ones. Are you saying I'm bad oh, at all the other ones? Oh my god. Well, maybe I should just walk into the sea. <laughs> then do. <laughs> and then four, uh, 15 to 17. There we go. That'll do. You have two minutes for this I'm one as well. I'm getting quite tired now. That's because you're always sleepy. Emma is the sleepiest person I've ever met. We have some little background music. Uh, do I have any background music? I'm sure I have some background music somewhere. Go to YouTube and I'll run some <laughs> background music. I'll have to go to my playlists and stuff. Hang on. Uh, playlists. 
YouTube has gotten worse at organizing things, I've noticed. It's kind of annoying. Is this even in alphabetical order? I don't think it is. Where the fuck is my stream music? There it is. What's the topic? How can I bet with the topic? It's famous novels, first lines. I don't know what that means. Is it like that you have to guess the first line? I'm no, I'm no, assuming probably... it's, it'll give you the first line and you have of the to say novel what novel and it is. you guess what it is. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Let's do this. It's been ages since I played this one. Let's do Pokemon and chill. <laughs> That's quite nice. There we go. <laughs> YouTube's gotten worse in a lot of ways. It has. YouTube and Google in general have gotten significantly worse over the past few years. I mean, Google with their whole fucking AI results now is useless. I need to switch away from Google as a search engine. Should we go and play? Sure. All children except one grow up. I think it'd be more fun if we give people the options rather than just click clicking. Peter Pan. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, The Call of the Wild, or Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I'm I mean, this feels fairly obvious. I'm pretty sure it's Peter Pan. It's yeah. probably Peter Pan. Uh, let's see. Oh, Although, they actually, this probably I'll, comes from the play. I'll really show off. I'll say which, who wrote each one. Uh, who wrote Peter Pan? J.M. Barry. Yes. Um, Sawyer is... It's a 1911 novel, Peter and Wendy, Who's based on his play in 1944. Mark, Mark Twain Pan. is The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, right? Eh? think so. The Call of the Wild is Jack London? I have no idea what The Call of the Wild is, no. And Alice's Adventures in Wonderland is Lewis Carroll? Yes, I have it over there somewhere. Do you? It's one of the only children's books I really, really like. I didn't like it. I love Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I think it's amazing. I, I really genuinely love it. <laughs> it is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. And I'll say the options. No, no, I say options. Okay. Pride and Prejudice, Fifty Shades of Grey, The Great Gatsby or Emma. Do you know which one it is? I think it's Pride and Prejudice. It is Pride and Prejudice. Is that the one with Mr. Darcy? It is. Oh, he's so dreamy, he is. They would, oh, I'd love to jump on would, his bones. They wouldn't say it like that. Oh, I love, I love him so well, much. <laughs> Oh, I'd jump on his pride if you know what I mean. Oh, st- oh. <laughs> that's what they speak like. No, they were upper upper middle class. They would sound more posh. <laughs> it was a pleasure to burn. <laughs> uh, it was a pleasure to burn. Read out the options. Fahrenheit like four five one, The Hunger Games, The Golden Compass, and Dante's Inferno. Again, I feel like this might be a bit of a gimme. F- Fahrenheit. I think it's Fahrenheit four five one, the book about book burning. Yeah. <laughs> Books, Books are unwelcome welcome in, in the dystopian, dystopian future. future. Author Ray Bradbury consulted a Los Angeles fire chief to find out the temperature at which a, pa- a paper book would ignite. The actual temperature is about 480. <laughs> <laughs> Drea's mum pilled Drea and my mum. Same phone case. My mum collects different editions of Alice in Wonderland. It's a good book. Oh, that's easy because they've given the name of the character. Oh, I mean, yeah, come on. As Gregor Samsa awoke one morning from troubled dreams, he found himself transformed in his bed to some sort of monstrous firm. They make these quizzes a bit easy. Another one of my favourite books. It's really great. So it's either The Magicians, The Hobbit, Metamorphosis, or The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and it's Metamorphosis. It's Metamorphosis. They make I, these... I really recommend it. It's very short. You can get through it in an afternoon, and it's great. Although the creature into which Gregor has been transformed has sometimes been pictured as a cockroach, he was intentionally vague to give the character's condition a yeah, broader range of Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, he doesn't actually like say It's like Humpty Dumpty. It's very similar to Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> All happy families are alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Anna Karenra, where the crad dads sing, me talk pretty one day, war and peace. It's war and peace. I wouldn't know. I don't know any of these. It's Anna Karenina. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> I was so sure it was war and peace. No. Sprawling across eight parts, Tolstoy's Anna Karenina relates the ups and downs of characters belonging to the Oblonsky, Karenin and Levin families. I've never read it. It's meant to be very Is that anyone going to see Metropolis? It sounds really bad. Uh, do you mean Megalopolis? Oh. <laughs> I doubt you're going back to 1927. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just felt like being as annoying as I possibly could be. <laughs> it was a bright cold day in April and the clocks were striking 13. What one do you think that is? <laughs> that is uh, 1984. Is it? Yeah, that's the opening line. Have you read 1984? Uh, no, but that's just the first line. How do you know? <laughs> I don't know, it's just the first line of that. I didn't know that. <laughs> Whether I should Whatever turn out... Whatever you fucking nerd. I might see it. Whether I, 
whether I should turn out to be the hero of my own life or whether that station will be held by anybody else, these pages must show. I'm going to guess that's David Copperfield. I have no idea. We watched uh, the movie version of David Copperfield recently, didn't we? Yes, we watched. And it was awful. (laughs) If you really want to hear about it, the first thing you probably want to know is where I was born and what my lousy childhood was like. (laughs) And all that David Copperfield kind of crap. But I don't feel like going into if you want to know the truth. I like that. I've, I is that know. the Catcher I, in the Rye? I think Rye? it's either one of the top two. I don't know. I've never read Catcher in the Rye. I've heard it's amazing. Isn't that very controversial? They said, oh, this will make kids go and shoot people. <laughs> because one guy liked it and shot somebody, it became demonized. But apparently it's really great. Far out in the uncharted backwashes of Apparently the... it's unbelievably mm. sad, by the way. Don't just a warning. Far out in the uncharted backwashes of the unfashionable end of the western spiral arm of the galaxy lies a small, unregarded yellow sun. Is that Hitchhiker's Guide? No. 2000. It's definitely not Hitchhiker's Guide because that's, um, isn't Hitchhiker's Guide, you know, it's something about the Big Bang and it's like, this is generally being regarded as a bad idea or whatever. Is it um, Ender's Game or 2001? Because I don't think it's Doom. I've it? read Hitchhiker's Guide and Ender's Game. I don't remember the first line of Ender's Game. I will go. 2001? I don't know. Really? I thought that wasn't the first line. Well, maybe you should know. Well, because I remember book. this line. Earth is held in such regard that it's demolished twig way for hyperspace. It is, that is the opening, yeah. I didn't know that was the first line. I've heard that like four times. Where's Papa going with that axe, said Fern to her mother, as they were setting the table for breakfast, where the red fern grows, a tree grows in Brooklyn, of mice and men in Charlotte's Web. I have no idea. It's, it, I don't think it's of mice and men. You're thinking of Discworld. Oh my God, I am. So it like says, I don't think it's Charlotte's Web or Mice and Men. And now it says Fern. So that could make you think where the red fern grows. But a tree grows in Brooklyn. I've never heard of a tree grows in Brooklyn. I've heard of a tree grows in Brooklyn. Charlotte's Web is about a, a pig and a spider. I think. Yeah, I've <laughs> seen the movie. It was really sad. I don't know what it's about. Oh, it's really about. Sad. I'm going to go this The only point. one I've read is of Mice and Men. Damn, it's Charlotte's Web! Apparently. Fern stops her father from using the axe to do away with the runt of the pig litter. Jeez. She names Wilbur, who it turns out to be some pig. Oh, it was really sad. <laughs> I never seen it. It's really sad. I always got it confused with Babe when I was a pig. Oh, that's easy enough. Mr. and Mrs. Dursley. Ugh, move on. Harry Potter <laughs> and move the Sorcerer's on. Stone. It's Philosopher's Stone, you dumb fuck. I know, and this is Britannica. I thought they'd be, you know, use the British English. You better not tell nobody but God. It'll kill your mammy. The Grapes of Wrath? I have Santa no idea. Fiori? The co- oh, maybe this one. I have no idea. I'm going to guess this one. It is, apparently. Yeah, okay. She was the first woman to win a Pulitzer Prize for fiction, apparently. When I stepped out into the bright sunlight from the darkness of the movie house, I had only two things in my mind. Paul knew when to ride home. Not a clue. I have no idea. I know that Ready Player One is obsessed with fucking pop culture. Yeah, but isn't that all like 80s pop culture? Yeah, it's more 80s stuff, so I don't know. The Fault in Our Stars is the girl that's That's the That's the cancer book by the YouTuber. Maybe that one? I have no idea what it is. Uh, oh, it's the, the outsiders. outsiders. Never heard of it, to be honest. Wasn't that the movie Tom Cruise was in? I have no idea. I've never heard of The Outsiders. Or Franny and I Zoe. think we watched, like, um, a review of on Welcome to the Basement. They watched The Outsiders. It was Tom Cruise. Yes. It was on Tom Cruise's first I have first no movies. memory of this. And Franny and Zoe is apparently a big influence on the world Tenenbaums. No, oh, maybe I'd like it. It's a line from the restaurant at the end of the universe. It is one of the books, then. It's just not the one I thought. A squat grey building of only 34 stories. Over the main entrance, the words Central London Hackery and Conditioning Centre. And in a shield, the world state matter, community identity stability. That's going to be a clock regard. I don't know. It could be any of the first... Th- it could be any of the first three, I think. No, it could- had this is set in America. Oh, this is, is set in America. I didn't know. So I knew the Hunger Games was. I didn't know Handmaid's Tale was. Is Brave New World set? Brave New World is a. Uh, I think he's is this the guy who wrote Brave New World English, and he's it's it's a dystopian future nightmare. I'll state. go for Brave New World. No, I don't know. It could be Cockroach. It is Yay! Brave New World. As well as Huxley, that's in his dystopian novel, every human embryo is hatched from a bottle. Oh, that's interesting. I have heard anecdotally I'm, I know it's one of the most famous books of all time <laughs> I've heard anecdotally that it's quite boring but I'll read it at some point it does, well I like that oh this is funny 124 was spiteful full of babies <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what this is I like that but I don't know what I haven't a clue this is by Beloved is by Tony Morrison right mm-hmm. 
Tony, and that's supposed to be good. That's but a slave that escapes. Mm -hmm. The stranger, I don't know. No, is that Albert Camus? Camus. Oh, is it? Yeah, the stranger by uh, Camus. Yeah. The Slaughterhouse Five is Kurt. Kurt Vonnegut. And this is uh, Sylvia Plath. Mm -hmm. I've never read the Bell Jar because I don't like Sylvia Plath. What one do you reckon this is? I have no idea. It's definitely not the stranger because the stranger is mother died today or was it yesterday or whatever it was called. I don't. I don't uh, think it's a bell jar because I don't think it's a baby. I think there is a baby in Beloved. I don't know. Beloved or Slaughterhouse Five. There we go. <laughs> Tony Morrison's Beloved follows a formerly enslaved woman named Seth who believes she's haunted by the ghost of her dead baby. Ooh, that's, cheery. <laughs> that sounds fun. That sounds like my cup of tea. Yes, that sounds like a book you would love. <laughs> Everyone in Shacker Heights was talking about it that summer. How Isabel, the last of the children, had finally gone around the bend and burned the house down. I think that's Little Fires Everywhere. I'd never read it or heard of it. I don't know. A 2017 novel, Little Fires Everywhere, sold more than two million copies. I've never heard of it. And finally, <laughs> ships. Ships at distance have every man's wish on board. The Old Man in the Sea, Treasure Island, Life of Pi, or Are Their Eyes of Watching God? I have The Old Man in the Sea on a shelf right next to me and I've never read it still. Get it's it. like 40 Get it, pages. Get it, pages. <laughs> yeah, you know what? We can cheat. <gasps> You said well, no cheating. You, love cheating. you said no cheating. What is the opening line of the this? The old man in the sea. <laughs> the old man in the sea. He was an old man who fished alone in a skiff in the Gulf Stream, and he had gone eighty-four days now. Okay, so it's not this. That is the first line is of it, Roman. Is it Treasure sea. Island? No, I don't think it is Treasure Island. Look how small Old Man in the Sea is. It's tiny. Oof. <laughs> you have a timer set? So I, yeah, I want to go before it closes. It's only 90 pages long. Their eyes were watching... Oh, this I've heard of this woman. Zora Neale Hudson. Their eyes watching God was published in 1937. It's considered one of the great novels of the Harlem Renaissance. I've never heard of it. I like the title. Their eyes were watching God. What's it about? I have no idea. So you got all Emma's pretentious book stuff. Yes. <laughs> Kane's music opinions and my book opinions. <laughs> Their eyes were watching God. I've it is a 1937 novel. It's because of the classic of the Harlem Renaissance. It's about a teenage girl set in Florida in the early 20th century. It was initially poorly received. Now it's seen as very influential in women's literature and African American literature. Never heard of it. Sounds interesting. Let me click so we can see how many you got right to see results. <laughs> 13 out of 17. Pretty good, considering I am not particularly well read, to be honest. I hadn't read most of those books. Mm. I haven't actually read a lot How of How many classics. points will Emma get? It was, what, 13. So 7 to 14, the middle mm. option, 2. And I guess we'll end the stream now. It's been three hours, right? Roughly. <laughs> yeah, it's been three hours. Thank you for watching. We finished another video game. I thought it would be longer, if I'm honest. Um... Thanks for watching. I'll be live again tomorrow with uh, an Emma-less stream. Bereft of Emma for another week. What do you want to play next week? We'll talk about that later. Okay. Oh, I was thinking um, like a, an old I classic horror go. game. I okay, I love you. <laughs> Fine. I was thinking Fatal Frame or Post one of those games. So that might come up. Full stuff is Tomorrow I'll be playing... Uh, Vampire again because I'm really enjoying Vampire and like it and will be playing it to fruition I assume unless it gets very bad somehow but I feel like I'm finally figuring out how to play it who can I raid I will raid uh, this person I'm this so the first person pale. I see so pale <laughs> yeah you're Irish <laughs> so pale have I spelled that right I think I spelled that right thank you for watching everybody see people tomorrow if they like goodbye